Good day, good people. This is Phil, the web dev hero, and we are here with a new SQL tutorial. I welcome you to part three of our SQL course. And in this course, we are going to talk about primary and foreign keys in tables. Like I said in the second tutorial, there are different tables, of course, in every database, and they are all blessed with primary and foreign keys. And what these are is what you are going to learn in this tutorial. Let's dive right into it and first talk about the primary key, of course. And the primary key is a field in a table that uniquely identifies every different record. Let's look at an example here. You have this beautiful table here. It's the employee table. You've seen it in the last tutorials as well. And in this table, you have several different fields. You have the phone number, email, last name, first name, and employee ID. Now, what's important about the first name is there can be more than one person being called Stephen or Nina. Last names, King. I guess there are more than one people who are called like that. The email is not unique either. There could be Stephen King, there could also be uh, uh, Saskia King or whatever. And so you can have the same email twice and phone number, of course, you can have this twice too because several people share a number. Now, what is unique here and what is added is the employee ID. And it is absolutely crucial that every table has one primary key and one primary key only, which is in this case, the employee ID. And this, like I said above, uniquely identifies a record in a table. Talking about the foreign key, this is a key originating from another table. So what was the primary key in our employee table might be the foreign key in another table. So a foreign key is always a primary key in another table. We will wrap this up with an example now. So you really understand the difference between both. All right, a practical example. Let's say you have a shop and you sell stuff, all right? And when you sell stuff, what can happen is that you put it all in one Excel sheet, for example, in one table. And in this table, you just order by the numbers. So what's good is, is that you have a primary key, which is the order number in this case, because every order has just one number and they all differ from one from another. What's the problem here? The problem here is that one customer might have several orders. So for example, John from England, from Great Britain, might order several things because he's a good customer and he wants several things. So when he does this, and he might even buy the same product, you have several entries in your database with exactly the same data except for the order number. So John from Great Britain orders the same product again for whatever reason. And then John from Great Britain orders another product. And everything is practically similar except for the order number and maybe for the product number. How can you solve this when you design your database? Easy. You go and you make several tables. For instance, you start with the orders table. The orders table has an order ID, a customer ID, and a product. On the other hand, though, you have the customers table, which contains of the customer ID, the customer name, and the customer address. So you have two different tables. And now whenever somebody orders something else, you don't have to put all the customer data in here in the orders table. You just put a new customer ID. And with this customer ID, you can identify who it is, 
what's he what is his name and where does he live and this brings me to primary key and foreign key because the order id here like before is the primary key the unique key that identifies the order the primary key in the customers table is the customer id so each customer gets one id customer number one might be steve customer number two might be bill and so on and so on so whenever bill orders something and his primary key might be uh, his sorry his customer id might be one then for this specific specific order we have the customer id one and this means the customer id is the foreign key because customer id relates to the customers table and there it is the primary key this is how these two relate the primary key in this outsource table is the foreign key in this table and of course this table needs a primary key too this uh, thus we save us much work because we don't have redundant data in one table and this is the explanation of what primary and foreign keys are next thing we'll cover shortly are the relationships between these two entities all right between orders and customers we um, have a relationship of course and there are two uh, three kinds of relationships there's one to many one to one or many to many and in this case we have an many to one so one customer can make many orders of course he might pay, buy several products several times but one but the order has always one specific customer the one specific order has always one specific customer all right i hope i got that straight for you i hope you understand what i was talking about here and if you have any further questions please put them in the comments and hit that like button. I see you folks in the next tutorial.